That spider looks awfully big on the screen. But do you know if you were to encounter it in real life, it would actually only be about the size of a pea? I'm Janice Crenetti. I've been teaching environmental science for over 20 years. And believe me, I have encountered my share of spiders working out in the field. I'm here to talk to you today about a, red, a spider that you may not be terribly familiar with. It's called the redback spider, and it's also known as the toilet spider. One look at it, and you might think that you're looking at a black widow spider. You see the black body, it's very round, and you also see these red markings. However, redback spiders, we're probably not going to encounter them for two reasons. Like I said, very small, hard to see, and they're also native to Australia, unlike the black widows, which are native to North America. Now, this picture that you're looking at is actually showing the red markings on the top of the spider. So the red is on the top of the abdomen, the back part of the spider, rather than being on the underneath. If you could see the flip side, you would notice that that red stripe actually runs all along and underneath the belly as well. You'll also notice that the markings are slightly different. These markings look like two diamonds rather than an hourglass shape. So why would we be concerned about them? Well, like the black widow, they have a very, very powerful bite. Very intense venom that's a neurotoxin that can actually cause nerve damage. And there have been fatalities reported from the bite of this little tiny insect. See, in nature, small can sometimes be very mighty. So if you're ever in Australia and you happen to by chance see a tiny little spider like this, try to stay as far away from it as you possibly can. If you find yourself getting bitten by one, you need to seek medical attention immediately. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is the Redback Spider.